The regular meeting of the Sutton Connersville City Council is now, now in session. We will stand and I will lead the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. Reverend Doug Barton will now lead us in invocation. Let's bow in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day you have given us, and it uh, gives us the hope of spring and, and even nicer days. Father, we thank you for those who shepherd our community. We thank you those who serve and protect. Thank you, Father, for our mayor, and we just uh, pray for this council that you would guide and direct them tonight and help them make the tough decisions that need to be made and bless them and guide them. And We pray all this in your precious holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, please turn off all your phones and pagers. And... Okay, we'll now have roll call. Councilwoman Montgomery? Here. Councilwoman Phillips? Present. Councilman Nettie? Councilwoman Durham? Present. Councilman Frank? Present. Councilman Bishop? Present. Councilman Nobby? Here. Okay, you have the uh, reading. You have the minutes from February 16, 2016. Is there any additions or corrections? Is there any additions or corrections? If not, I need a motion to pass as is. So moved. Second. All in favor of passing the uh, 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 the minutes of the two, February 2016 signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Okay, a new, biz, a new business, we will have uh, Fire Chief Troy Tipton. Got some stuff to lay out. Um, need you to bear with me a little bit. I've been fighting the flu. Um, Safer Grand has opened up. Uh, again, and uh, we'd like to apply for it. I'd like to give you a brief history about the grant and how it affects us and why we would like to apply for it. Um, the grant, um, well, first start off with the fire department um, provides fire protection for the community. Also, um, we're a part of um, kind of economic development. A lot of you don't realize that. Some of you haven't been over really to talk to us about what we do. Um, what we do is um, the insurance rate for um, businesses and your homeowners is set through what's called ISO. Um, the mayor's real familiar with it, and Mr. Nutty would be if he was here. Your ISO rating is set by 50% um, fire department, 40% water, and 10% dispatch. It's, what it, it's your ability to fight fire <coughs> and um, your water flow. So um, that affects whether or not your businesses can come to here and stay and, and how we fight fire. So, so we are a big the part of economic development, whether you realize it or not. In 2001, um, the um, federal government realized that they were giving money out for fire stations and fire trucks and stuff like that. They were still seeing a lot of um, fire deaths and um, things like that, and they realized that they needed to take another approach as far as getting more manpower on the, on the, online and to get fire deaths down. Out of uh, the top 30 um, industrial nations, I think we was ranked by 24th or 25th, and that's just not acceptable at the time. And um, 2001, we had a um, manning of 39, um, which meant that, um, we had um, about the standard that we're held accountable to is NFPA 1710, which meant our, our rating of what we had 12 men respond when we had a full shift and a nine man minimum. A full shift was responding at 80 men, 80% 80 of the manning standard, and about 60% um, when we wasn't at a minimum standard. So, and we had an ISO rating of six. And Chief Bennett took over in 2000. Um, in 2003, um, 
was real working real hard with um, getting the department going and everything. He was able to get our ISO rating down to to a five, and um, that's that's real good for for our city our size in, in the state of Indiana. Um, right now, we still carry an ISO rating of a five. Okay, um, through the years of 2000 to about 2008, you know, you all know what happened with the um, Vistion, lost the Vistion and the economic downturn, um, we've, we've lost to attrition our manning and um, we're down to where we have a seven man minimum right now. A seven man minimum puts us at a, um, a, a reaching our percentage of about 46 percent of the standard when we respond and sometimes we run out at a six man which is less than 40 percent of what the standard requires. Us. The standard means that we roll up on a fire and we were able to start our attack within eight minutes. And if we don't get in there and get you within eight minutes, your cancer survival is really not very well. So um, what we're asking for um, is for you to consider the SAFER grant. Now, what I was going to talk to you about the SAFER grant about is um, SAFER um, is a very good program. Um, in 2011, um, they tried to do away with it, and I had the opportunity to actually go to um, Washington with our um, state union and, and speak out there, and we were able to um, get it when um, some waivers put on it. Um, originally, it was kind of like the FAST program, I believe it is. What is it? The COPS program, what's it called? Yeah. Um, it had a two year where you had to have two years and then you had to keep them for a third. Now we just have to keep them for two and we don't have to guarantee them the third. So if we, if we have an economic hardship, we don't have to keep them after the second year. There's no match money. If we have a hardship, um, we don't have to keep them. We can lay them off. Um, if something happens, the only thing that they require you to is during the um, performance period of the grant, the two years, if someone leaves, you have to keep the number that you start with. Unless you lose a tax, your tax base shrinks or something, then you have to keep what you start with. Um, unless your tax base shrinks, then you can file for a hardship. So it's a it's a win-win situation. We were able to get the rules really good, and and we're asking that you, that you consider applying for this grant. Will you tell them how many firemen we're going to lose in the next four years? Um, right now we have... Um, I mean, retirement, not retirement-wise, not... <laughs> well, we have... Um, we Potentially, have, that's what we're saying. Well, right now we have three signed up that I know that's leaving. We have two that's going to be replaced immediately that this program will not affect, I'm sure. But if we was to be awarded this program as soon as it, Diane um, just told me that it could, we could be awarded as soon as June. If we was awarded as soon as June, we, we could reap the benefit to replace the ones that are leaving already in June. So we have a, a fireman leaving in June, one leaving in November, one leaving in early spring, and then there's, there's, there's more that's going to be leaving after that, or, or potential for leaving. We're, we're getting to be a very old department. It is a young young man's game. We are an older department. The guys behind me are the young ship. <laughs> is there a is there a match on this grant, Diane? Strictly. If we get it, it's our money, right? If, if we have to pay overtime, like if we had to call them in on fires, mm -hmm. we would have to pay their overtime cost. So if we was to have to call them in on a fire, um, we would have to pay their overtime cost. Um, we do have to equip my Chris, um, Time Chief Gettinger checked today, and with um, um, David um, retiring out on the medical and John leaving and um, some other, um, the part-time program not working, um, we, we do have enough gear that we can equip them with the, with the turnout okay. gear. Okay. So we really believe that, that there's not going to be much of a cost at all, that our budget will, will support the cost that we're looking at.
What's a full shift run? You said minimum is 7, and that uh, 2001 the minimum was 9, and the full shift was 12. What's a full shift run now? We're running 8 man shifts right now. We would like to get up to 9 or 10. If we, if we was to ask for 4, that would put us 2 shifts at 10 and 1 at 9. You would see a, a total reduction of our, um, of our overtime except for our FLSA, which you realize FLSA is a, a federal law. And um, we cannot skirt around that. Well, we talked about that at some, at some like when I talked a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, about the use of the Kelly Day. You said you can get some information. Kelly on that. Day would create approximately 150 more days off, would, which would, which when you do that, that creates more chances of overtime. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, I'm sure the guys would like to have more days off, mm -hmm. but we just don't have the manpower. I know you said you worked it up and you just never, yeah, and you may be able to get the things to me, and I'd like to see that at some point. Yeah. Kind of lay it out on paper. Are you talking about instituting the Kelly Day again rather than the. No. no I mean, for the, I for the amount. The Kelly we just talked about it. The guys don't like hearing stuff. this, but for the ten to $12,000 that we put out for FLSA, I can't see the, the, the time, the cost. Because you pay them nine hours a half time for every 21 days. Now that's a negotiation thing. You're going to have to work with them. If you want to negotiate Kelly days, you're going to have to have more manpower, way more manpower than four men. Oh, we talked about. It. I just want to see it on paper still. Yeah, awesome. it's way more manpower than needing four men. And then uh, for the safer grant, does it pay benefits as well or no? Yes. It pays their insurance and everything. The only thing it doesn't pay is to equip them. Or the overtime. Or the overtime. Would it pay FSLA? Yes. It would pay that. It would? Yeah. But it won't pay call in overtime, like if I have them on fire. Hmm. So, Roy, are you here tonight just to ask for the council's blessing to apply for this? Yes, we need your blessing. Because we do, we do have to have your blessing to apply for it. Is there a, when's the deadline on this? The 25th. Of this month? Yes. Would you like a motion? Is there any more discussion? Are you going to ask for four in the application or are you just applying for the grant? We have to ask for a specific number. A specific number. number? Yes. And how many we're asking for? Four? Yeah, I. Me and Harold felt that four is what we felt when the Harold. Yes. I tell you, the fire department's been working with me. They've been working short and everything. They could have, they could have had a guy called in to work overtime, but they decided to work with six men instead of calling the seventh one in. So they've been very helpful with the budget and everything. So I think it's the one thing they were waiting on, see how we were going to do on this and stuff. And short, of course, the negotiations start here and few days from now or a few weeks anyway so we just figured you know this is a way to go right now let the let the federal government pay some of this do you have any paperwork on this yeah um what i don't have i can get to you i can bring it to you tomorrow like i said i've been home sick with the flu all day i'm sorry i was going to bring it all i've been six and saturday Okay, then, you know, with no more discussion, I'd like to have a motion to uh, support the, the SAFER grant. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, I know with the FAST grant, uh, it was tied to also having a union contract in place. That's why we weren't able to play for the last one last time. Does that hold true for this one as well? Dan, I don't believe it is. Do you? But we do have a contract in place. Right? Yeah, but it's just it's up this year if I'm, if I'm correct. So I just want to make sure that's is that correct. The contract's good till the end of the year. 31st, right? Mm -hmm. So the problem with the last time was um, the contract was even already expired before mm -hmm. we applied for the green. I see that paperwork. Um, which, which one do you want to see? I don't believe. Really Whatever you got. Well, that's the standard handing for me. Handing mine. I think I got a question and answer right here. That'd be handy for everyone to have. Yeah. I can run and print you up, print it out, and bring it back to you if you want. 
Do the same things? Yeah, let me see how many I got there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We have until the 25th to fill this out. Yeah, but we've got to stay on. We've got to. We need an answer tonight because it's really complicated. I think that vote all over this. <coughs> well, we already have a motion and a second, and uh, I've asked for more discussion. Is there any? I'll ask for a roll call vote, please. Councilwoman Durham. Yes. Councilman Frank. Yes. Councilman Bishop? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Uh, at this point, with all, just getting the paperwork today, no. Councilwoman Montgomery? Yes. Councilwoman Phillips? Yes. Councilman Nettie? Yes. Okay, Troy. Passes six to one. Um, thank you. Okay, Diana, can you come up and talk about uh, Resolution 2016-3? Troy, do you bring my copy of that in the morning? Yeah. Gabe, I have more. I can run out to the school to you tomorrow. Let me pass that right there. Okay, um, which room are you at? I think he's dropped the office. Up the office. Oh, okay. <coughs> and Gabe, everything's available online, too. Okay. Through Thank you. We're at just type in Safer Grant. Just type in Fire Act Grant. And it'll take you right to it. Um, Superior Oil has asked for a tax abatement. They are building um, a new building to the north of them, and um, they're they're actually adding on a new 12,000 square foot office building and laboratory, and they're asking for a tax abatement for approximately. Um, then, uh, let's see. Yeah, the estimated new new building will be three million dollars. That'd be right where the old one, uh, the old factory was that burnt down. And Correct. They tore down. Correct. Yes. That That'll will beautify good. that corner. That'll make yeah. it nice. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Long time coming. Uh -huh. so um, and secure the position here. Yeah. Right. They will be asking for some equipment. Um, I didn't have that ready for this meeting, so we'll, you know. Do that at the next meeting when we set the public hearing. We'll ask for another public hearing. Do you know when they're planning on start construction? Mm -hmm. No, I do not. Do what towards fall? Fall. Pretty soon. Yeah. When was that? They when just start they just went through the bidding process, but there's still a lot of other stuff. So like, we'll push. We'd like to start in the fall. Was what they were saying in the bid. Okay, this here just a resolution for the, us to advertise. Mm -hmm. So I'll need a. Yeah, for a public hearing. So <clears throat> I'll need a, a motion and a second. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor of resolution 2016-3, vote by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. And I'll have all that information for the public hearing in your next packet, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Carol, Chief McQueen's, uh, she will talk on item C. This is a hearing, Frank, for the, the bailout tool, $1,000 for the canine. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with it? It fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lean on it, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Are you clear that the bail bailout tool is what the dog for the canine? It's a temperature control device as well as the bailout tool that allows the canine officer to release the dog. Assuming it passes, uh, how long would it, would it take to get it ordered and installed? You know, I didn't ask. Uh, I'm guessing just a couple of weeks. Okay. Before that, what is it? Yeah. Well, I also it kind of depends on how busy Phil is at the city garage, too. He's pretty good. Big we spend it. Pretty good. Phil's phenomenal. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, is there any more discussions for one? Just for one dog? Yes. Yeah, the other ones are got. The, one the other canine has one. one. Okay, I didn't uh, know that. I'm sorry. Officer Perry and canine Leo have one. Hmm. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I'm going to accept penny orders 3241. Second. Okay. 
All in favor of passing 3241 on first reading, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Passed on first reading. Is there anyone want to go into the to suspend the rules and go to third and final? Second. Sorry. All in favor of suspending, suspending the rules, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, we'll go to third and final reading on pending order 3241 for $1,000. Need a motion and a second? So moved. Second. All in favor of passing 3241 on third and final reading, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Passed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next one's going to be an interesting one. Good job. Appreciate it. And we have John Baker to explain it. <laughs> uh, ordinance for internal control standards pursuant to Indiana Code 511, whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead, John. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you what it is. It's uh, State Board of Accounts Uniform Internal Control Standards for Indiana Political Subdivisions. It's about uh, 20 pages that I printed out here, and I think Rosemary has the. Do you have the PowerPoint? The full version. And the full version, <laughs> yeah. I've tried to read this and uh, I've read it and reread it, and I've gotten very little out of it. I'm it's sorry to say. Thing. It's extremely difficult to understand. It's uh, very complex, and uh, there doesn't seem to be anything I can really grasp. In, 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 in <laughs> that's, that's, that's a professional way of putting it. <laughs> but anyhow, that, that, that's because I'm not an accountant, and Rosemary is, so that's probably the reason. <laughs> But we're required to pass it, and then Rosemary has to put it into effect uh, starting, well, if that, June 30th was the deadline, as I recall. So we, uh, um, at a very minimum, uh, the law requires us to uh, uh, have this passed uh, in ordinance form by uh, reference, and that's what this uh, ordinance does. So it's state mandated, no matter what we want to do, it doesn't really matter. Right. Right. Maybe you can implement your own, but you have to basically rewrite that manual. Mm -hmm. You can do your own standard. It does say that, but that's yeah, a living nightmare right. to do. It's not worth it. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. No, you don't want to touch that. No. You can't understand that. Exactly. Try to write something you can't understand. Yeah, I, I really like it. State legislature does it all the time. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 only <laughs> money. Good one, Rock. Right. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, you have, is there a motion and a second on pending orders 3242? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? John, got anything else to add? No, sir. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, I need a motion to suspend the rules and go to third and final reading. So moved. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, we go to the third and final reading on pending ordinance 3242. Need a motion and a second? So moved. Mm -hmm. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, there you go, John. Very interesting, Mr. Breger. Thank you. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, we go to item E, pending ordinance 3243. It's vacating a public alley. And we got to see John on that one, too. Well, this is an ordinance to amend an ordinance vacating the public alley. Uh, I, I have the uh, one that we had before, and the, the legal description was incorrect. At the bottom it says lot 50, 60, 85, and 86 in Joshua Harlan's <coughs> first edition to the city of Connorsville, being the alleys uh, surrounding, the, I'm sorry, the lots surrounding the alley in question. Actually, that should be 59 instead of 50. 59, 60, 85, and 86. So it's a simple matter of uh, making that change. We'll all re-record this amended uh, uh, ordinance vacating the public alley, and that will make the record correct. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. May I second pending ordinance 3243? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second for pending orders 3243. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. 
Okay, so suspend the rules for pending orders 3243. I need a motion and a second. So second. Moved. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, we'll move pending orders 3243 to third and final reading. I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. All in favor of passing pending orders 3243 for the public right, uh, for vacating a public alley, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, it's passed. Okay, uh, need under old business. Did you want to say speak to something that? Yeah, uh, we are our last nomination for the Urban Enterprise Association, and I'll let uh, Diane talk about that. Um, I've contacted uh, Karen Dixon, um, who is a resident of the zone, and she has agreed to uh, become a member of the board. I'd like to present her name for consideration. Okay, Gabe, you want to take care of that one? Are there any other nominations for the Urban Enterprise uh, Association? Saying none. Uh, Karen Dixon's it. Okay, is there any further old business? Okay, we'll move to miscellaneous business. I just wanted to let you know that the lights on Park Road are, are being looked at by uh, Lays Wiring. And also Lays Wiring is looking at the uh, lights up over on East on the East Fifth Street Bridge, taking care of those. So those are, they should be on by the end of the month, I hope. And uh, and we've been working with Sugar Creek, and uh, that's going pretty well right now. Brad, would you like to say something on Sugar Creek, just how things are going? Uh, should I put you? Hello. I'm Brad. Hi. It's a little hard to report on because it keeps changing. Um, We've been looking at several. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, <laughs> we've been looking at several different options. They were want, wanting us to study it, uh, looking to take it up to three main gallons, but now that's been cut back. <coughs> it looks like we're talking about something different. So uh, the board of works today approved a feasible uh, strand is kind of doing a feasibility study on it to look at if our waste treatment plant can handle up to three main. Two million or one million, and uh, we're just kind of rolling with the punches right now, trying to get prepared to participate in this project. Uh, and uh, I think there's still a little bit left to be decided about how it's all going to work out. And there's three entities. There's, there's going to be Milton, Western <coughs> Wayne, Sewer District, and Connorsville's all looking at this. So. Right now, they're all working together on it and everything, so it's, it's not out yet, it's not in yet, but uh, there's a lot, there's, there's still discussion going on. Five or six political subdivisions involved in this, so you can imagine how tricky the whole thing is to put together. So. Are you, Brad, excuse me, are you talking three million gallons a day? If this Possibly up to it, but that's been discussed. Yes. Have we ever handled that capacity before? Yeah, we can handle on, it. I thought we did with 50 on more. To. Yeah. We can handle it easy, we have to kind of reconfigure the wastewater plant a little bit to be able to take that amount again, but we can do it. Have uh, any of the pumps or anything frozen up since we haven't used that capacity in a while? No, they um, rotate they, they rotate, rotate a lot of that equipment yeah. in and out to keep that kind of thing from happening. But there's a about half of that plant's been taken offline as far as the tank capacity and we would have to get that going again. And it's pretty complicated so we gotta uh, be careful and make sure we make the right deal and do this all the right way. You got a ballpark figure what that would gross the city if we went to say two million? No. No, it's still. We gotta, because the rate we're charging now might change. You know, it's just, we basically have to figure out what's gonna cost us to take it right. and then set a rate. That's to make sure we don't lose money on the deal or whatever. Well, so. that's the reason I ask about the capacity. I think this will take months to put together and figure sure. it all figured out. So we'll keep you abreast as we go along. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate Thank it. Sir. And another thing, I want to congratulate the Spartans for winning their sectional the other night. And uh, to celebrate uh, well, with them going to the regional on the 11th, on this next Friday, the 11th, they're having Spartan Pride Day. And they're encouraging everyone to wear red that day. So if you got a red shirt, put it on. If you can get to the game, possibly go. And uh, that's all I have. You got anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. 
Uh, Carly Elvin is going to be at state as well for gymnastics. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we oh. support her as well. And I, I want to say, if, if you've been going to the games, they've been phenomenal. But I do want to congratulate the Spartanettes on that guy-girl dance. That was absolutely phenomenal. If you didn't go to that game and you missed that, you missed probably one of the best shows I've ever seen in the Spartan Bowl. And I just want to congratulate them. They probably don't get as much credit. But they did a phenomenal job. So come but, support your Spartans. Yeah, they, Chad, they do that guy girl dance about every year. Yeah, and I know. Get, but this one was better. phenomenal. Yeah, it gets <laughs> they better got a standing every ovation year. From yeah. Even the, the visiting crowd gave them a standing ovation. Yeah. And it was they did a great job. Just want to congratulate them. Okay, is there any. Okay, we'll go to public forum I now. I have, oh, I have one thing. Uh, the DNAM signs, mm -hmm. they're still there? Yes, they are. Do you have any? <laughs> we gonna paint over them or what? Yeah, do you have any update on that? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I pass them every day. Be careful. I, I want to get up here and talk about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, the, the, uh, I think I reported in the last meeting that um, uh, Mr. Vetter, the owner of the building, uh, has uh, very graciously uh, wrote the check and paid for those signs to be removed. And we've been in communication with the sign company, the original sign company that installed the signs now in Lawrenceburg, and they are chomping at the bit to come up here and get them down, but it's a weather-related thing. When they take their bucket truck up to the building, there's some grassy areas, and they do not want to destroy the grass. Oh, okay. They don't want to bog it down in a, in a mud hole. So uh, they're waiting for, and it looks like we're going to get more rain. So uh, believe me, we want them down. And I, I sent them that headline that the news examiner uh, printed, you know, signs to come down. So that they know how badly we want those down. I just wanted to check. because I Believe it or not, it's not deterring uh, people's interest in the building. In fact, it may be helping. I showed the building today okay. uh, to an individual who was... Uh, very qualified in every way to to purchase that building if that's what he decides, decides to do. And uh, those signs didn't mean anything to him. Okay. Of course, he's also been keeping up with the story of the newspaper, too. So. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? Yes, Diana? yes, thank right. you. Thank you. Is it feasible those could be taken down from the roof? <clears throat> uh, safe, I should say. That, that's the key, and there's a liability involved. And of course, this sign company is fully insured. Uh, I, I really thought about going up there and trying to take them down myself. That's how bad I'd like to have them taken down, but uh, that would not be wise. Okay. Uh, some of those signs are stacked down so low on the building that you couldn't reach over it and do it safely. But I the same thought through, ran through my mind prior to do that. Well, you know what we're going to do. No, no. Thank you, Dan. You bet. Is there anything else? Yeah, somebody called me about the uh, flasher on Western and was it 16th? Yeah, uh, that I didn't know. we're going to turn that over to the state. We've turned a lot of things over to the state, and we're still waiting. So, <laughs> what is the, the, the school flashing sign? No, not the school one. The stop. Uh, the stop. stop. This, at 18th Street. At 18th, 18th and Western. Oh, that one there. Four yeah, the four the four way stop is. Oh, there's still. Oh, that's the one that's got knocked out. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're still, they're working on it. They're working on it. Okay. We'll get it taken care of. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. I'd like to mention a couple things. Uh, 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 there was a very damaging uh, pothole on, West, on Waterloo Road. Uh, and the same day I was going to call the street department, they came out and fixed it. So I appreciate them jumping on that right away. It was not in a very good spot. Uh, also, uh, if you've not already recognized uh, Daryl Drew, I'd like to recognize Daryl Drew for being um, at the uh, swim meet, the sectional that he was considered coach of the year. Wow, well, congratulations, Daryl. Didn't, Didn't know that. That's great. Is there anything else from the council? Okay, we'll go to public forum. Anyone out there got anything to say? No one's got anything to say? Well, in that case, did you say something? I said quiet oh. lunch. <laughs>
Okay, then we'll go. Uh, we'll go to. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. <coughs> Second. All in favor of adjourning the council? Second by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Adjourned.